And then I said, well, hello there. It's good to see you. I was just telling Mr. Tim about the time I got to lead Sunday school at my church. It was really cool that I got to tell the Bible story to the whole class. It's a brand new year, too. Happy New Year. I wonder what this year will be like. Maybe, God willing, we will be able to do some of the things we miss doing. Maybe I will get to even see you in person. Ha! On New Year's Eve this year, we stayed up until midnight. Can you believe that? That is when we heard lots of fireworks and said, Happy! Happy New Year to each other. That is our family's tradition. Traditions are important things we do, or even events that we repeat because they are important to us. Do you have any traditions? Jesus was a young boy who lived with a family traditions too. One of the Jewish traditions was to travel to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. Leo, Ada, and Otto also have a family tradition. During December, when they travel to a retirement home, to visit family for Christmas dinner. What could possibly go wrong? Let's find out. Let's go. So why are we going to Uncle Lenny's again? Because that's what we do every Christmas. Our extended family visits Uncle Lenny at Active Acres Retirement Community. Exactly. We always do that. So why do it again this year? It's a tradition. What's a tradition? It's something so special that you do it over and over. How is it special if we've already done it? It's important, Otto. Having dinner with the same boring weirdo relatives is important. Trapped in a loop, living the same Christmas over and over again every year? Yes. Ugh. All right. While Mom and Dad are parking the car, we've got to get these dishes to Uncle Lenny, so... Wait. What? Otto hasn't asked a question or complained for the last 90 seconds. He already wandered off? That was fast. Otto! Otto! Tot is right. We need to find Otto. Let's spread out and search this whole retirement community. Otto? Otto! 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 Fish! No, Tot, not fish. We're looking for Otto. Fishy! Find anything? Well, we found fish so far, but no Otto. We've got to find him. Christmas dinner won't be the same without Otto. We need to... Hey, check out these cool fish. Otto! Otto! Where have you been? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I went to the TV lounge and met a bunch of people who live here with Uncle Lenny. So, you ditched your family to go hang out with people you just met. But Ada, these people are so cool. Captain Kenneth T. Coleraine was in the army. And Edith used to give hot air balloon tours of the Grand Canyon. <gasps> Plus, Rodney and Eloise just happened to have rock candy with them. Lots of it. Uh, if they were so cool, why aren't you still hanging out with them? Most of them had to leave. All of them have their own Christmas traditions. Isn't that cool? I thought you didn't like traditions, Otto. Well, I didn't. And I told them that all we ever did was have dinner on Christmas. But Captain Kenneth T. Coren said that I was lucky to have a tradition like that. What's his family going to do? Nothing this year. His family can't make it. So he's just going to hang out in the TV lounge and sigh a lot. Couldn't he have dinner with all of us? Haven't you been listening, Ada? I just learned a valuable lesson. Traditions are important. If he joins us, it won't be the same and we'll have wrecked the tradition. I don't think it will wreck the tradition. It'll just add to it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. You're going to love them.
Are we really allowed to add to the tradition? As long as we cut out the part where we run around for an hour looking for Otto. I don't see why not. Where's Tot? I'll go get my jet boots. Sounds like they have really good traditions, huh? Did you see all that snow? I wish we had snow. What relatives do you usually visit around Christmas time? Uh huh. Yeah? Yeah! I like to go see my grandma and grandpa myself. Thanks for asking. Do you have other criti Christmas traditions that you love? For us, we always watch a favorite movie and have popcorn while we decorate our Christmas tree. That's one of my favorite traditions. What do you think is so good about keeping traditions? Yeah? Awesome. Jesus' family was Jewish, and a Jewish tradition was to travel to the city of David, Jerusalem, each year for the Passover festival to celebrate how God saved the people from slavery in Egypt. When Jesus was 12, his family went to Jerusalem like usual, but on the way home, something unusual happened. Let's read today's story and find out. Here we go. This week's story is from Luke 2, 41 through 52. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up as they always did for the feast. When it was over and they left to go back home, the child Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents didn't know it. They thought he was somewhere with all his friends and family traveling back home with them. They traveled for a whole day and then began looking for him among his relatives and neighbors. When they didn't find him, they went back to Jerusalem looking for him. The next day they found him in the temple, seated among the teachers, listening to them and asking questions. The teachers were all quite surprised by Jesus, impressed with his answers. But his parents were not impressed. They were upset and hurt. His mother said, Young man, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been worried looking for you. He said, Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I had to be here, dealing with the things that are important to my father? But they didn't have any idea what he was talking about. So he went back home to Nazareth with them and lived obediently. His mother thought a lot about these things quietly with herself. And Jesus grew up in both body and character blessed by both God and people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Whoa! It sounds like Jesus was really surprising his mom and dad, but also worried them a lot, too. Why did Jesus go missing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right! He was doing what God the Father wanted him to do. He was learning and teaching in the temple. Have you ever got separated from your parents before? If you did, I bet everyone was very worried. Jesus wasn't worried, though. He understood in some way that his purpose was really great. He was born a small child and did normal kid things, which included traditional festivals and feasts like the Passover. But he was also very special because he was God himself. What is one very special thing Jesus has done for you. Yeah? Yeah. One special thing Jesus has done for all of us is to give us new life. A new beginning. In this new year, let's remember the new life we have and go be loving to others because Jesus first loved us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this new year. I pray that we would be able to see each other again 
and do all the fun things that we miss. Forgive us our sins. And most of all, help us to be loving, to be more like you, full of love, patience, kindness, and grace. Help us have a good week. Stay safe. In your name, amen. Well, that's it for this week. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye!